Okay, I'm here on step 21 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web designs, third project, Learn CSS Colors by Building a Set of Colored Markers. So we learned kind of, if you read the text, we learned a little bit about RGB. And so RGB is just red, green, and blue. So we define how much red, how much green, and how much blue we want, and that's how we define a color. But if we have nothing in any of them, which is the value zero, um, then we'll have black. So that's what we're going to do right here. So we're going to target the container class. So we put that period in the front. Then we're going to set background color. And we're going to say, hey, we're using RGB and put everything inside of some parentheses. So what we're going to do is... Um, say zero 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 and so the lack of all color is black and um, if we were to set this to 255 255 oop, not two th uh and 255 we get white because white is all colors combined and so um that's it's represented here in rgb but we're going to keep it black for now okay so the next thing we're going to do we can set red in a different way from just saying red we're going to say we want 255 red. So the range is from 0 to 255. There's 256 options because it starts at 0. And so we want no blue and um, or no green, which is the second one, and no blue. And look, it looks exactly the same as when we had red. So to just show you, um, and so we're just going to move to the next step. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is just set that green. So we're going to do RGB. We don't want any red. We do want some green, so we're going to set 255, max, and no blue. So now the green looks a little bit different from before. We'll, I'll explain why that is in just one second. And then we're going to set blue. So 0 red, 0 green, and 255 blue. That also looks the same as before. So if you, you might have realized that that green color is a lot brighter than before. And that's because when we type out the word green, here I'll actually use a comment to show you how um, what I mean. So that comment means uh, it, since I comment that out, it has no effect on what's there anymore. Or it, it just doesn't show. So if we write green right there, oh, it's a darker shade of green. But if I delete that again and uncomment this, we can see, oh, it's much brighter. The reason that is, is um, I don't actually know the reason, but the green, when we use that color keyword is what they call it when we just type out green instead of defining R, G, and B ourselves, um, is just a little bit darker. So we can just make it look exactly the same just by typing in 127. And there you go. We have our darker green. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some padding because this background of black is a little bit too close to the bottom and too close to the top. So the top of that red marker and the bottom of the blue one. So we're going to change, we're going to add some padding. So add some wiggle room on the on the side. So if you remember, instead of saying padding dash top, padding dash bottom, padding dash left, padding dash right, we can actually just define the top and bottom and the left and right all at the same time, which is with one line. So if we use two things, the first one here is 10 pixels. So that's saying on the top and the bottom, we're going to add 10 pixels. And it just did right there. And then the zero um, on the side uh, just means we don't want anything on the left and right. So the first two is top and bottom, second two left and right. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we actually, um, we're going to set this back to pure green so we can start playing around with color combinations. Okay, so so what we can do is if we want to set this to white, this uh, RGB right here, we're going to just set everything to 255. I kind of explained this earlier, but we're just going to do it as an example right here. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to combine pure red and pure green. So it's R G. B, red, green, blue. So we want to set green to 255. And whoa, we have yellow. So if you combine um, red and uh, green, we get yellow. Okay, so we can get a cool, um, we can get a cyan color, which is a really bl bright blue, I think. Um, and so if we combine the green and the blue, so RGB, we want to set that blue to 255. We get a different kind of uh, blue right there. Okay, so the, the last thing we're going to do in step 30 is we're going to make uh, combine pure blue and pure red. So we have that first one is red. Now we get this magenta color. So these are some secondary colors. Um, so the primary colors are red, green, and blue, and the secondary are yellow, um, cyan, and magenta, if we're talking about colors um, digitally.